What do each of you make of this whole divide over masks? I mean, the more science we know, the more we know that masks protect the wearer and protect others. So why is this, why is there in your view, this political divide uh, over wearing a mask and do you wear a mask? I would say that it, the science really hasn't even been that clear, right? I mean, the CDC first said, don't wear masks. You don't need them. They don't do well, anything. We've learned about this, uh, about this virus as because it is new. That's why they call it the novel virus. But um, I think at this point, the science is quite clear on mask wearing. Uh, I'd have to disagree on that, and I think this is COVID-19 because there's been COVID-1 through 18 as well. So, um, and people, like I said, if you, if you make them well informed and they can assess their risk, if they're hearing that 99 point something um, are okay with this, sometimes those folks say, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm willing to live my life, I need to live my life, I am miserable. I think that everyone agrees that we would love to have the schools open and that schools would have to be prepared to be safe. And that's the kind of statewide order that is also opposed. So since we're not taking any of the steps to do it safely, should we just go ahead and open schools because it would be far more convenient and um, you know, to be hoped for everyone that we could put the kids back in school. Well, I don't think we should do it just for convenience and hope's sake. I think I've been hearing from medical professionals who have been talking about herd immunity. That's how you quell and qu crush the virus. We've kind of been moving the goalposts here. The first, the goalpost was to flatten the curve, which Kansas successfully did, I'm happy to say. And then it's kind of moving the goalposts to keep, um, infections down and things like that.